Hi, and welcome back to Quinoa Pot Creations tutorial videos. Today I'm going to be making moccasins. I uh, used uh, Nymo Nylon Zero thread for beading, size D for sewing the moccasins together. John James beading needles, size 11. The pattern I have is um, made for size 11 seed beads. And I have a hide that I bought is German tanned, very soft leather, easy to sew. I drew the footprint on a sketch pad paper, measured my arch to arch my foot, and then total arch, and bold the but cut the footprint out, bold it in half, and measure that, give that total arch measurement that I had. Mark that off and use that point and use the measurement I had across the arch the same amount on each side and then I draw from toe to the point on each side and then straight down and that makes the top of my moccasin straight across the bottom and that's the top and I straighten out the lines because I don't draw straight lines very well and I'm going to have to cut it out so then I go toe to the arch measurement and that's where I do a three inch line and then a, draw the line straight down and then Take those tops, trace them on the leather, and then both feet turning the pattern over. I cut it out and I cut a quarter inch all the way around. That's your seam, sewing seam. I cut a two inch strip that will go around my ankle and be the fringe. And then that's all you need to you have the footprint, the tops, the strips, and the two tongue pieces, and you're ready to make them. You'll cut a quarter inch strip that goes all the way around. That That's a strip you'll sew in between the top and bottom. Seam reinforcement. And you'll have strings that will go around, will be your ties. I'm going to put the pattern on to the leather and I use a pencil and mark those points the three points on there and then one on the bottom and I'm going to draw the lines right onto the leather using my pencil I use a mechanical pencil um, because it the pencil mark will fade as I'm beading and sewing and you won't see it. You won't see it later. Um, it's better for me than using a pen or any dark color because you can still see it and it fades. And then I will um, draw my area that I'm going to be beating on about a quarter of an inch in from the edge. That's the area that I will be doing my beadwork on. I'm about a quarter of an inch up from that line, the tongue line, and a quarter of an inch all the way around. That's the same. And the pattern that I use was made for seed beads, and I'm going to be doing lazy stitch. So I separated, marked off rows of eight beads. I flat stitched the around the toe two needle method. Start the lazy stitch in the middle and work out. Count from the middle how many rows you'll need for that design and then that's where you'll start with your lazy stitch working in the design. Once the beadwork is finished I darken the three inch line and the line straight down and I'm going to mark 
inch and a half mark to make a triangle that I will cut out and that's where my tongue will go it just fits a little better on my foot than when it's straight up and then I'm going to attach the tongue now and I'm going to use a blanket stitch for my sewing go overlap go right back into the same stitch that you started and once you pull it all the way through you'll go through the loop and pull that and to keep the stitch right on the edge and then you'll just overlap again keeping your stitches uniform even and then go through the loop and pull that and making sure that the stitches on top it holds the layers together better and secures the stitch better so you just continue that all the way across sewing your tongue on once the tongue is sewed on you get ready to sew the layers together the quarter inch seam strip you fold it and find the halfway point and you'll put that on top of the toe in between the moccasin top and the moccasin sole with the wrong sides out and you'll do that same blanket stitch your first stitch just goes over and goes right into the same holes that you used came through and you pull that all the way through put your needle back up through the loop and you make sure that's pulled real nice and snug and that the blanket stitch is right in the middle of all three layers and you'll just continue that blanket stitch all the way down one side you go back up to the toe on top and go all the way back down the other side but leaving it open on the bottom because you'll attach it after you get it sewed down both sides so that blanket stitch really does hold all those layers together and really gives it a good reinforcement rather than just a plain whip stitch or a running stitch if you don't know how to do a blanket stitch you can google it or look on pinterest that it's an embroidery stitch or a sewing stitch but yes it is called a blanket stitch and you go through the loop and pull it snug and do that all the way around and once you have that all sewed up then you i am going to close up the back end that strip that sewed in there that reinforcement strip we're going to make sure that's out of the way and then we're just going to continue to close up that gap using that same stitch and then I'm when I get to the seam that goes up the back I just do one whip stitch to secure those two together and then continue on closing up that gap it's just kind of a stitch I reinforced the heel bit Greg continuing gecko. that blanket gecko. stitch to close up that hole and that's the heel and then I would go back once the hole's closed up I would go back to where the seam is up the back side of the moccasin not tying a knot just kind of continuing on with the same string so that you don't have knots or 
Well, so then the last stitch, you go through the loop, and then the way you went through the loop, you're going to just go overlap the other way and make that stitch so that the bundle stitch is still on top of the seam. And then I'll just do that blanket stitch all the way up. And that's just one running thread without knots and stop and go. And I just continue that up the back side. And then I uh, turn it right side out when it's all done. Um, and then once I turn it right side out, I'm gonna trim off that strip. Just kind of have to roll the seam and get that strip to stick out and the seam to be flat and just trim that off as best you can close to the moccasin all the way around and then that's it and then I take this strip the two inch strip that I cut and I put it on the inside of the moccasin and I'm going to blanket stitch that all the way around and blanket stitch it all the way around to the end and uh, then it's straight on one side already so I'm just going to cut off the excess straight on the other side and then I'm going to turn that out and kind of flatten out that seam. I'm going to put the needle in and then I'm going to fold over the flap over my string that will be my tie string and I'm going to sew a running stitch and basically creating a casing for my tie string having my tie string all the way around through that ankle part can makes it more snug when I tie it on because you can pull it snug around your ankle rather than just putting strips tight on the end so I'm just going to do a running stitch paying attention to both sides getting that stitch to be as straight as possible I'm not real good at getting perfect, but just paying attention to both sides as you're running your needle through. And being sure you're not catching the string itself that's inside that casing. And you just run that stitch to be sure that your string is inside that little casing all the way around. And then you're going to get a real good sharp pair of scissors and cut that fringe all the way around get it to the end and that is the moccasin once you get that all done you're gonna pull the tongue up and pull the sides up see where the string is coming across and that's where you'll cut your slits that you'll run your string through so that's kind of straightened up and then cut four slits because you're going to go through two on one side and then two on the other and you tie it up and that's your moccasin all finished and ready to go I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I if you have any questions, be sure to let me know. You can either email me um, any questions you have, or you can join my group on Facebook, Creation Corner. Um, be sure that you like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for stopping by, and see you next time. Bye.